Our coverage of Rocket Soccer this season is brought to you by Anderson Physical Therapy, by the Barking Lot, by the Gordon B. Garrett Funeral Home, by Interstate Pipe and Supply, by Armstrong, by Oil Creek Plastics, by Community Connect Federal Credit Union, by Dr. Timothy Brooks, by Pennsylvania Hardwoods, by State Farm Insurance, by True Value Hardware, by Vanderhoof Heating and Air Conditioning, by the Meadville Medical Center, Titus Valeria Hospital, by Larry's Auto Service, by Booney Sports Bar, by the Colonial Machine Company, by Corky's Pizza, and by the Titusville Beverage. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the last Titusville Lady Rockets soccer game of the season. This evening, they're play playing the Cambridge Spring Blue Devils. And it's a dull and gloomy afternoon here at uh, the Ed Meyer Complex. Fortunately, we have Mr. Gavin Griffin on camera, who is going to illuminate the game for us. And we're underway with the Rockets kicking off. Intercepted by the Blue Devils. It's number 14 making headway, Ali Race. But back come the Rockets, up to Adeline Hartshorn. Plays the ball inside to Anna Shelgren. Shelgren trying to release release Hearts on, but uh, blocked by the Blue Devils, and away the Blue Devils go. It's a good run there by, I think it was Mackenzie Yance, I think that's the pronunciation. I'm sure people will correct me if it's wrong. And uh, picked up again by Ali Reyes. Ali playing on the right wing here. A decision that your eagle-eyed commentator missed, but it's a free kick to the Blue Devils. From the halfway line. It's launched by, there's a chance of a goal, and here's a goal! Well, with only two minutes on the clock, the Blue Devils won. Titusville Rockets nil. Can anyone tell me who scored that goal? Mackenzie York got on the end of a long ball from number 17, Nola Zook. And from a set piece, the Blue Devils take the lead. Back come the Rockets, though, with hearts on. Got signs in the middle, crosses it, reaches signs. Lindsay turns, back out to Adeline. Cross comes in again, but that's uh, easily picked up by um, Maddie Yance. Thank you. I need all the help I can get. Long ball from Maddie. Alana Jackson with a clearance. It's going to be a throw. Taken by goal scorer Mackenzie Yance. Long throw. Met with a strong head of Alana Jackson. Ella Nicholson with the ball. Shot from Ella. It might not go out. Picked up by Chloe Schultz. Chloe back to Ella Nicholson. Kylie Beck with the ball now. Some nice interplay in the forward line on the right hand side of the Cambridge Spring Blue Devils, from which they get a corner to be taken by Nola Zook. Is it Zook or Zook? Thank you. <laughs> 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 
Okay, spelt with a Z then. <laughs> Nola, uh, Nola miss kicks the ball, sends it out of play. It's going to be a goal kick to the Titusville Rockets. Less than five minutes gone. And most of the attacking play so far has been from the Blue Devils. But Shelgren up to Hartshorn. Lindsay Sines already starting to have an influence in midfield. Nice left wing run. Can't make out the number. Stopped by Jackson though. Nice pass to the right. Kylie Beck, I think, just lost a footing there. But that was a nice move by the forward line of the Blue Devils. Strong kick upfield. Neatly picked up by Paisley Mangold. Paisley out to Beck. Beck crosses. It's a nice cross. And it's met and forced in. That was a beautiful cross from Kylie Beck. Straight into the six-yard box of the Titusville Rockets. Titusville couldn't defend it. And it was eventually knocked in by Ali Race. <laughs> I hate these small numbers. <laughs> well, the Blue Devils certainly in command of this game. And we've had less than five minutes played. They lead two goals to nil. What can the Rockets do about this? Well, Ella Nicholson in midfield for the Blue Devils has made some rather incisive runs and passes so far. She certainly had the most influence on this game in the early running. Throw-in to be taken by Mackenzie Yance. Long throw in the Titusville penalty area. Well headed out. And Brooke Anthony trying to launch an attack, but lovely tackle. Some nice left wing play there. Crosses the ball in, it's another chance, but defended this time, shot coming in. And another, <laughs> another piece of great defense there. But Beck again on the right side, on the right hand side, but extremely well defended by Lily Southwick. That could be a good battle. Lily and Kylie about the same build. Anty now fighting with Beck. Southwick across. Lovely turn. Oh, lovely turn and goal. That was Ali Rays for a second goal of the game. Ali beautifully rolled the ball underneath her foot, made a 180 degree turn and found the ball and passed the ball into the far corner, giving Paisley Crawford in the Titusville goal little chance. Score, Blue Devils three, Rockets nil. That Blue Devils forward line is really Dominating this game at the moment. Mangold passes the ball forward, but that's going to run all the way to Paisley Crawford in the Titusville goal. Well, less than 10 minutes gone, and already we're seeing a clinic from this Blue Devils forward line. Here they go again. Kylie Beck on the right side, but uh, Lily Southwick forces her out. 
And uh, score of the first goal, Mackenzie Yaunts, going to launch another long throw, which has already proved dangerous in that Titusville penalty area. In it goes. They just back across. That forward line is still fighting there. Titusville just can't get out of their own penalty area at the moment. And Paisley will be very happy to have a feel of the ball. First 10 minutes, she's had the ball put past her three times. She had not, no chance with any of the goals. It's always good for a goalkeeper to get their hands on the ball. Beck, and <laughs> I think that must be a patented turn. Paisley Mangold there trying the uh, old roll the ball under your foot and make a 180 degree turn. Must be something that um, they practice. Coach Jeff Bristow, I was reacquainted with him before the game. We played together in the 90s. Yes, it was so last century. First, and they're through again, another shot. Oh, what a good save. Paisley Crawford keeps the scoreline down with an excellent save to her left-hand side. Stuck out a strong hand and pushed the ball past the post for a corner to the Blue Devils. Well, first-year coach Luke Dye for the Rockets must have been happy with that one. But he must be wondering what he can do to stop this juggernaut offense. Corner coming in. Oh, it's a trick play. <laughs> and I think they'll need to practice that one again. <laughs> Lindsay, Lindsay Sides battling away. Referee did not like the uh, tackle on Lindsay. It's going to be the powerful kick of Anna Shelgren that's going to send the ball into Blue Devil territory. Brooke Anthony making a strong run down the right hand side for the Rockets. Who was the girl that made the tackle? That's the other thing I don't like. Long pigtails because you can't see the numbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. They call her Yaz made a fine tackle on the left-hand side just in the full-back position just now. That's Isabella Yasinchak. Yeah, thank you. Great tackle by Alana Jackson there for the Rockets, snuffing out danger. But here come the Blue Devils again with uh, Ella Nicholson. Ella, a fine run of the ball. Kylie Beck battling away with Lily Southwick. Those two young ladies really going at it. A shot coming in, and it's another goal. <coughs> Titusville did not clear their lines, and Paisley Mangold, with a right-footed shot into the corner of the Titusville goal, makes it 4-0. Paisley used accuracy rather than power there just to guide the ball into that far corner of the Titusville goal. And these Rocket girls not letting their heads down as Brooke Anthony chases the ball down the right-hand side.
Anna Shelgren, short of stature, but strong in muscle, going to throw this ball in. And it comes to Adeline Hartshorn. And Tannisville will get a corner. No, Tannisville did not land a corner. I thought it came off a Blue Devil player. But the devil's in the details, and I got that one wrong, apparently. Southwick just a little late to the ball. Beck with it down the right wing. Southwick comes across, makes a superb tackle. But it's going to be another dangerous long throw into that Titusville penalty area by Mackenzie Yance. And Titusville really need to pick up their marking. They're leaving too many bodies free in a penalty area. That was an example there, but wonderful interception by Jackson to stop a fifth goal going in. Strong clearance there by Ella Worley. And again, attacking down this right hand side with Beck. But this time Brooke Anthony thwarts up. Beck still gets the cross in, ably dealt with by Paisley Crawford. Paisley going to launch this ball. And Paisley gets the ball again. Lindsay Sines trying to take the ball around Ava Greenwalt, but away come the Devils again. Strong running of Kylie Beck. Seems that girl can just run up and down that line all day. Mackenzie Yance again trying to set up a chance, but the Rockets thwart it, and Lindsay Sines tries to send her on away. But picked up by Nola Zook. Nola to Yaz. I'm just going to say Yaz. Everybody else is saying Yaz. <laughs> Who am I to argue? Obviously a popular girl. Everybody knows her nickname. <laughs> Courtney Erickson with a throw. Nice throw, Courtney, but uh, picked up by the uh, Blue Devils again. That was Michaela Owen there with the clearance. Titusville defense starting to pick up a little now, which they need to do. Nice strong tackle there by Alana Jackson, who's put in some decent shift already in that uh, Titusville defense making some important clearances we notice that uh, one change that the coach has made Luke Dye Brooke Anthony's come back a little bit to help out the defense but here's Lindsay signs but picked up Anthony comes across to uh, thwart Beck. Shot coming in. <laughs> and blocked by Adeline Hart's heart zone. No, no, that wasn't Adeline. That was Olivia. <laughs> I do apologize. That was Olivia Simonski. Apologies to her relations. <laughs> Nola Zook with a corner. No. Oh, it hits the post. Comes back out. And that that should not be a goal. That should not be a goal. The referees have got that one wrong. The, a player cannot play 
the same ball from a free kick. That ball, ball went into the post, came back, and the same player hit it. That should not have been a goal. But I'm not refereeing. <laughs> well, it's basically playing the ball to yourself. Hmm. It's like if there's a penalty and you pass it forward and then kick it, you know, it gets disallowed. And ball out of play. Adeline unfortunate there. Well, I've got some uh, Blue Devil fans around me and it's a cold, nasty evening, but uh, the performance of their team is certainly keeping them warm so far. To my right, we're hearing a lot of encouragement for the Rockets, who, to their credit, they're, we're halfway through the first half and unfortunately to be 5 nil down, but their heads have still not have not gone down, and these young ladies are battling away. Titusville all in gold, but unfortunately for the Rockets, it's the uh, Blue Devils who've been glittering so far. But Lily Southwick wins the ball. I think she was uh, accidental contact there with Paisley Mangold, Adeline Hartson. Playing the ball to Chloe Preston. Chloe back to Adeline. Adeline making some progress here. Well, that was a uh, no-nonsense clearance by Anna Shelgren. Anna, a sophomore who certainly plays like a senior. Rockets trying to progress now. Nice ball to Hartshorn, but it comes back out again. But uh, recovered by Anna. Slight missed kick. Ball went to Lexi Clayton instead of a Rocket player. Lily Southwick now looking to make progress. Nice ball, Lily. Trying to find Lindsay Signs. And uh, it's going to be a throw by Brooke, Brooke Anthony. Looking for Lindsay. Uh, Miss control, and it's going to be a throw to uh, obviously <coughs> Blue Devils throw specialist, Mackenzie Yarns. Mangold moving the ball forward to Clayton. But Southwick intercepts. Mackenzie with a long throw. I bet that girl's good at volleyball as well. Nice clearance by Jackson. Chloe Preston trying to put pressure on the uh, midfield of the Blue Devils. And Chloe wins the ball. Blue Devils moving the ball across field. Picked up, there's going to be a shot coming in.
That was Moira York with a shot, but uh, intercepted by Lily Southwick. And Nola Zook making a 100-yard dash just to take a corner. <laughs> Devils are massing in that Titusville penalty area. Excellent corner! Goes to the far side. Shot comes in, but uh, rolls harmlessly past the Titusville goal. A little bit of jostling in that uh, penalty area there. A couple of places, players went down as the uh, corner came in. Lindsay Signs making a tackle on McKenzie. Brooke Anthony pushing the ball through to Signs. Signs looking for Hartson. But in comes Ava Greenwald to tackle. But Hartson does get released. Tries to find Chloe Preston, I think it is. But uh, ball rolls harmlessly. <laughs> through to, to uh, Maddie Yonch in the goal. Signs tries a shot. Didn't get a lot of power on it. Trying to roll the ball along the ground. And it, I was walking on the field earlier. And the grass is a little long and quite wet. So that's going to hold the ball up a little bit. Mackenzie Yance gives it to Moira York. Looking for Mangold to clear my Owen. Strong. Mangold powering her way through. Mangold goes down. And I think that deceived, with uh, Paisley going down, I think that deceived Paisley Crawford in the goal. Two Paisleys coming together there. But Mangold strikes gold. And unfortunately for the gold of the Rockets, it's Titusville Rockets nil. Cambridge Springs Blue Devils 6. I mean, that goal was really all down to Mangold's power. She just basically mowed down the uh, Titusville defense there. Ended up falling over, but pushed the ball with sufficient momentum that uh, it deceived Paisley Crawford in the Titusville goal and just gently rolled into the Titusville goal. Now Mackenzie Yance making a strong run down the middle. So far she's been my player of this half. And line hearts on battling away. But uh, it was intercepted by. Again! Oh, Paisley Crawford makes a great save! A very brave save! At the feet of Paisley Mangold, who blasted the ball towards her. But Crawford wasn't phased. She got down and made an excellent block. Mangold is using power and strength to uh, really bully that Titusville defense at the moment. Fairly, of course. 
Corner comes in, looking for Yonch, but uh, I believe it's cleared. Mangold trying to go to ground and Paisley giving us a uh, gymnastics display there. I think she was a little. Uh, oh, Paul's, Paul's gone out for a corner apparently. I think we were all distracted by Paisley's showbiz, so we weren't quite sure what was going on. And uh, wardrobe malfunction in the corner. You'd think, you'd think at this age they would know how to tie shoelaces. Just saying. <laughs> However, Nolan, had, Nolan with a beautiful corner to the far side. Attempted volley by McKenzie, didn't come off. Zook kind of plays the ball into the Titusville penalty area. Looking for a teammate, but uh, Paisley Crawford deals with that admirably. Titusville trying to get something going in this half. Brooke Anthony down the wing. A lovely tackle, but... Uh, Hartson wasn't having any of it, wins the ball back. But. Well, Chloe Preston was uh, certainly up for the fight then, as is this young lady, Anna Shelgren, who's as tough as they come. Away goes Signs. But uh, Blue Devils defense stands strong. Mango launching the ball down for it's, uh, 16. It was Lexi Clayton, 15. Mackenzie Yons coming with the throw. Blue Devils making a couple of substitutions, I think. Number three, Chloe Schultz has come on and replacing uh, Paisley Mangold. Well cleared by Lindsay Signs. Titusville trying to stop this flood tide of goals going in against them. Signs doing her bit. Clears the ball. Down to Adeline. Picked up by Mackenzie Clark. Mackenzie in the game for the Rockets now. Anthony. Lily Southwick doing a job there. That's clearance for the Blue Devils was uh, Ella Worley. Clayton trying to battle her way through, but Southwick is having none of it and wins the throw. Off uh, ball bounce off Chloe Schultz. Brooke Anthony with a long throw, looking for Adeline Hartshorn, but uh, don't know if the ball actually went in play. The referee gave a foul throw. Good clearance by Simonski, but uh, comes back out to McKenzie. And uh, Lily Southwick was what is called a no nonsense clearance. I think it must be in the Blue Devil rule book that nobody but McKenzie can take a throw in. Brooke Anthony fighting for the Rockets. 
Clayton. Jones. Uh, it's getting dark, yeah. Mackenzie Clark battling for the ball in the tightest of mid mid midfield. Whitfield, even. It's getting quite dark here. Titusville point of view, I wish it would get dark enough to block out the scoreboard. Eight minutes to go in this first half. Cambridge Springs Blue Devils, six. Titusville Rockets, zero. Nada. But one thing I'll encourage Coach Luke Dye is the fight in these young ladies. Well, the Jackson plays a nice ball to Mackenzie Clark. Ella Nicholson making a lot of headway down that left wing. And finally, uh, Terrier Anna Shelgren makes the tackle. Here come the Blue Devils again. Nicholson plays the ball inside, cleared by Signs. Picked up, nice play by Chloe Preston. We could really do with some floodlights here tonight. Anthony back to Southwick. Southwick plays the ball up. Uh, unfortunately, comes to naught. <laughs> ah, somebody else but Mackenzie took a throw in. Can split the ball up. Great tackle by Alana Jackson. Certainly having her work cut out on that right-hand side of the title defense, but she's certainly up to the task. As is Southwick here on the left-hand side of the Titusville defense. Being put under a lot of pressure, but not breaking. Anna Shelgren winning a tackle as usual. And here comes a hard running, hard running Hartshorn. Shelgren trying to play the ball out to uh, Brooke Anthony. Brooke wins the ball powerfully. Here she goes again, but uh, tackled by. I know Lazuk, Nola playing in defense and taking the uh, Blue Devil corners. It means she's got to do a lot of running. <laughs> Ella Worley with a throw now. Mm. Ella Nicholson. Good fighting by Adelaine Hartshorn. Adelaine giving it everything here. As is Brooke Anthony. Nice cross. And cleared by uh, Worley. 
But back it comes again from Owen. Lexi Clayton playing the ball out wide to, uh, I think that's Danica Escalante, if I've got the number correct. Or is that Kylie? No. Yeah, number three, yeah. Strong clearance from signs. Three minutes left in this half. Six nil to the Blue Devils over the Rockets. That's on to Anthony. Sorry, signs, I mean. That's Anthony racing down the wing now. Good interception by uh, Alana. Michaela Rowan also doing her bit in the Titusville defense, forcing the ball out for a throw in on the far side. Yeah, foul throw. And a long throw down the line, chested by uh, Adeline. Trying to find uh, Brooke, does so. And uh, chase on here for uh, Brooke Anthony. So, uh, Ella Worley doing some strong covering work. But, uh, Brooke Anthony is not giving up on that play. Zook with a throw. Anthony with a header back to Southwick. Lily clears. And the ball's going to run through to Paisley Crawford. Yep. Dangerous Ella Nicholson was sniffing blood there, but the uh, ball was too far away for her to chase. Clock running down in this first half. <sighs> and line hearts on fighting, Chloe Preston going in, but away come the uh, Blue Devils. But uh, ball runs out for a throw in, and I think that should be the action for this first half. I think Brooks just got about got time for. Uh, sorry, Lindsay's just about got time for a throw. And there we have it, half time. Been a tough half for the Titusville Rockets. They were 3-0 down within eight minutes. And at halftime, they're 6-0 down. Goals scored by uh, Mackenzie Yance, Kylie Beck, and Daisley Mangold. Although I still insist that the fifth goal should not have been allowed. Hi, Noah. Alex. I always get people's names mixed up, you know that. Okay, we'll be back for the second half. 
Get expert home comfort and installation with Vanderhoof Heating and Air Conditioning of Titusville. Now is a great time to schedule an appointment to have your furnace checked out before the colder days and nights ahead. It's also a great time to ask Vanderhoof about the Remy Halo, a patent pending device designed to neutralize odors, air pollutants, smoke, mold bacteria, and viruses. Visit Vanderhoof online today to learn more or give them a call at 814-671-3226. Vanderhoof Heating and Air Conditioning of Titusville. Whoever said, it's only a dog, never loved a dog. Our philosophy is simple. We treat every dog as if it were our own. And believe us, we spoil our dogs. When dogs are comfortable, they're happy. The Barking Lot in Titusville is ready to make your dog happy by offering grooming services, daycare, and boarding. Call today to schedule an appointment, or better yet, stop in and discover a stranger, crazier, quirkier group of dog lovers at the Barking Lot in Titusville. Exceptional care. That is what our team of compassionate experts at Titusville Area Hospital Orthopedics will provide. Whether you're experiencing aches and pains or have suffered from significant injury, we are here for you. Board certified orthopedic surgeon Michael Dvorkin is highly experienced in treating all orthopedic and sports medicine conditions. No matter what the treatment may be, you can trust that we'll be here for you every step of the way helping you get back to the life you enjoy. Learn more about our exceptional orthopedic care at titusvillehospital.org. When it comes to your rehabilitation needs, you have a say in the kind of care you want to receive. At Anderson Physical Therapy, we are committed to your long-term health and well-being. We don't treat you like a patient, we treat you like a person, discussing your injury or condition and working with you on a game plan to get you back to better health. So stay on top of your game with a friendly and knowledgeable therapist at Anderson Physical Therapy. Fall and football go hand in hand, just like yards and the products made by steel. At Titusville True Value, we offer a full selection of steel chainsaws, pole saws, leaf blowers, weed eaters, and hedge trimmers to prepare your yard for fun this fall. So get the full lineup of Steel's equipment so the chores are out of the way so you can go out to play. Steel, available now at your Titusville True Value. Behind every good project is your Titusville True Value. Pennsylvania Hardwoods, a worldwide supplier of high-quality logs and lumber, is a proud sponsor of the Titusville Rockets. Located along Titusville Road in Pleasantville, Pennsylvania Hardwoods purchases standing timber and logs and some of the world's highest quality hardwood, which is growing right in your backyard. For a free appraisal, call Pennsylvania Hardwoods at 814-590-6730. Best of luck to the Titusville Rockets from Pennsylvania Hardwoods. Since 1965, the Gordon B. Garrett Funeral Home has been dedicated to serving Titusville and surrounding communities. Mr. Garrett believed in tradition and commitment to excellence, standards that are still held to this day. He also believed in community and making Titusville the best place to live, work, and play. When you need us, we will be there for you, providing a dignified service at fair prices. This has been our foundation for 55 years. The Gordon B. Garrett Funeral Home, 303 North Washington Street, Titusville. Interstate Pipe and Supply means that when we say service means business. With a knowledgeable staff, full fleet of trucks, and large product offering, we can answer your questions and fill your orders, big job or small. Covering multiple applications and industries, we're not just a plumbing location, but a one-stop shop assisting homeowners and contractors quickly and efficiently. We are locally owned and make it our number one priority to keep our customers returning and happy. We have been a staple in the Titusville community for 40 plus years. Stop in today and let us service you. Good luck to the Titusville Rockets this year. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Ed Meyer Complex. Uh, weather's brightened up a little bit. Uh, it went really dark at the end of the first half. And that first half was really dark for the Titusville Rockets, um, who inside the first eight minutes were three goals down and ended the half six goals down to uh, a really potent offense of the Cambridge Springs Blue Devils. Interesting to see what, if any, changes that uh, Coach Dye can make to uh, stem this onslaught.
We just heard a rather blood-curdling scream there from the Blue Devils from across the field as they uh, take their place on the field to kick off the second half. Must be said as well that uh, Paisley Crawford in the Titusville goal made some superb saves to keep the scoreline I hesitantly say as low it is as it is. <laughs> An interesting lineup for the Blue Devils. They, I think the ball is going to go to the left. <laughs> yep, they had five players lined up on the left-hand side of the field at the halfway line at the kickoff, and not on the right-hand side. Interesting formation. Okay, Finley Rocher is now in the game for the uh, the Blue Devils. Is that Ali Rays? I don't think I mentioned Ali's name. She was one of the goal scorers in the first half. My mistake. It's going to be a long throw from Mackenzie Yonge. But... Uh, Michaela Rowan in the way, but here comes Yaz, as her friends call her. Mackenzie wins the ball back for the Blue Levels. Plays it across. Oh, it should have been a goal. It should have been a goal. Complete miss kick there by Ali Rays. And uh, Paisley Crawford gratefully picks up the ball <laughs> Lily South will get the throw but uh Mangold plays it powerfully down the right wing and uh, goes out for a goal kick. Well, good news for the Rockets. We've had two minutes of the second half and the Blue Devils have not scored. Unlike in the first half. Anna Shelgren fighting powerfully in that midfield. Trying to release Chloe Preston. But uh, Ava Greenwalt, who uh, had a fine first half at right back, makes a clearance. As does Lily Southwick, but the ball bounces back again. Yes, takes the ball past. Nice dribbling skills, but Alana Jackson covers. Ball comes out to um, Ella Nicholson, but powerful running, powerful midfield, midfield play by Anna Shelgren brings the ball away for the Rockets. But back it comes again. It's like the tide coming in from the Blue Devils. Waves keep crashing one after another. Michaela Rowe makes a clearance. Adeline Hartson picks up the ball. No, Lazuk recovers though. Brooke Anthony fighting. Number 14, Ali Rays with a trademark uh, move. Rolling the ball underneath her foot and making a 180 degree turn. Ava Greenwald plays the ball out wide. Tries to find Mangold inside, but uh, Southwick uh, intercepts. Mangold once more. Wow. 
Southwick Tigerish in the tackle. Plays a nice ball up to Sines. Lindsay out to Adeline. Adeline trying to find Anna in the middle. Nice play by Anna. This is Titusville's best move of the game so far. And unfortunately, the player of the game so far, Ella Nicholson covers. But Rockets making a little bit of headway this half, I'm pleased to say. After five minutes play though, score still remains. Blue Devils six, Rockets nil. Lily with a throw. <laughs> Evelyn Hanold in the game now for the Rockets. Shelgren launches the ball to the left wing, but uh, there's nobody there to pick it up. Rays trying to find uh, Mackenzie. <laughs> Lily, Lily Southwick is having a stormer out there in that defense at the moment. Tenacious terrier like tackling. Threw a bit of alliteration in there for all you English listeners. Good clearance by Olivia. Southwick with a powerful kick up field. Shelgren. Back to Hanold. Anthony fighting with uh, Yasin Chak. <laughs> Mismatch in size and Brooke comes away with the ball. Uh, sorry, Lindsay comes away with the ball. Adeline forced out by Ella. Brooke Anthony launches the ball. Ah, ball went out of play for a throw. Nola Zook with the ball, plays it to uh, Ali Reyes. Oh, <laughs> slip there by Brooke. Makes jazz free, but it's covered by Alana Jackson. But away goes Ali Reyes trying to dribble through. Clearance by Owen. But uh, Reyes heads the ball towards the Titusville goal. But One of an innumerable long throws taken to, that was a foul throw. You notice Mackenzie's arm stopped about halfway over her head instead of doing a complete follow through. However, I am not refereeing as I pointed out earlier. Shelgren sends the ball through to signs, but uh, cleared by Ella Worley, who's having a very effective game at left back for the Blue Devils. This is an interesting battle between uh, Yasin Cech and uh, Lee, Brooke Anthony. Brooke about twice as tall as Yaz. Lily Southwick plays the ball into Anna Shelgren in midfield. Anna starting to have an influence on this game now. Tries a shot from about 40 yards. 
Travels all the way through to um, Yo, oh, Maddie Yance in goal. Alana Jackson picks up the ball. Tries to play the ball through to signs, but it's picked up by Nicholson. Nicholson sends Yance through. Yance comes across. Oh, Yance is going to try a shot. Hanel comes over, plays the ball across. And put over the bar by Kylie Beck. Definite timely uh, interception there by Hanold, who uh, prevented a goal-scoring opportunity for um, Yance. Stopped his trying to shot, and Mackenzie put the ball across, but uh, Kylie Beck, unfortunately for the Blue Devils, kicked the ball over the crossbar. But uh, Blue Devils applying pressure once more. Ball comes out to Yaz on this left-hand side. Tries to take it around Jackson. Crosses in, but cut out by Owen. It's still there. Shot cut. <laughs> Gangold. Oh, what? Oh. And eventually the pressure told. Incessant pressure there by the forward line of the uh, Blue Devils. Brave, brave defending by the Rockets. But a constant bombardment of shots coming in finally wore that defense down. And uh, Ali Rays found the corner of the Titusville goal with a right foot shot. Well, at least from the Rockets' point of view, it took them 12 minutes to score this half. Rockets nil, Blue Devils seven. And it's definitely a hellish game for the Titusville Rockets so far. Nice move, though, by Shelgren. Anna trying to play the ball through to Adeline. But uh, cut out by Ava, Ava Greenwald. It's a very well-balanced side, this uh this Blue Devil team. They've obviously got an extremely potent attack, but uh, they seem to let nothing through that white wall that they have as a, of a uh, white wall of a defense. And in midfield, they've got Nicholson, who's seemingly knitting everything together, making the whole team tick. But from a Titusville point of view, I think we can be proud that these young ladies are battling all the way in spite of the scoreline. Bella Middleton in action now. Bella fighting with Finley Rocha. I hope that's the pronunciation. Nice pass from Yaz to Mackenzie. Yaz gets a return pass on the left wing. Being challenged by Evelyn Hanold. Manages to beat Evelyn. Plays the ball across to Mackenzie, but uh, excellent. Excellent clearance by Olivia. Lindsay Sines wins that foot race. But uh, Nola Zook comes across to cover for a teammate, Finley Rocha. Looks like uh, Anna Shelgren is coming over to take the throw. No, leaving it to, uh, leaving it to Brooke, Brooke Anthony. Long throw, trying to find... Uh, Adeline Hartshorn, but cleared once more by uh, Nola Zook. But here we go, Titusville got a chance. Ball breaks into the penalty area, but uh, 
Ella Worley comes across to snuff out the danger. And uh, at least it's been heartening from a Titusville point of view to see some of the play in the Blue Devils uh, half, the second period. Well, I think that's the uh, well, referee didn't like something. Must well, looks like he's being taken from the same place to throw. So, what the problem was, I do not know. Chloe Preston trying to make some headway. Kayla Owens pushed up a little into midfield from defense. I think we've got Victoria Wright, I believe, in the game now. Yeah. Lindsay Sines trying to make some headway. Lindsay with the ball. Takes to Addy. Lindsay tries a shot from uh, way out, but uh, that's not going to bother Maddie Yons in the slightest. Maddie going to take the goal kick. And Yaz into Yons. Yaz to Yons. Hmm. Okay. Yance fights, plays the ball through. Suspicion of offside there, but uh, ball comes to uh, Danica Escalante. Danica Escalante. It deserves a Spanish commentator, I'm sure. Yaz with the ball, plays it to Mackenzie Yance, plays it to Escalante, but uh, Brooke Anthony interferes. Comes to Finley Rocha, Finley to Mackenzie. Cross in from Yaz, trying to find uh, Mackenzie, but uh, cleared by the Titusville Rocket defense. And a long ball launched down the field for. Uh, I'd line a chase, but back it comes once again. Anna Shelgren putting a sterling uh, shift for the Titusville Rockets, as is Kylie Beck for the uh, Blue Devils. And away goes Mackenzie Yance now. Yes, plays it down the left to Yance. Yance going to shoot. Is she plays it across back to Yaz. Intercepted though. Ball still there. Comes out and a save. Ball bounced high in the penalty area there. Yaz tried to uh, reach up for the ball. Could only knock it into um, the hands of Paisley Crawford. But it looks like uh, an off. I can't believe that's a high kick against uh, a player who's four foot two. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, okay. <laughs> Here she goes again. <laughs> well played out on that right-hand side. Lily Southwick making a clearance. Bounces off the blue Devils player. Nice turn by Brooke. Brooke Anthony has been, and Lindsay Sines have been absolutely everywhere. I've been to a few of the cross country meets, and some of these girls playing soccer, I think, have run more miles than some of the cross country competitors. Anna Shelgren picks up the ball. 
Chloe Preston fighting for it. Alana Jackson is left hand side. Battling with Danica. Yaz and Alana battling it out. Yaz comes away with the ball. Got a lovely dribbling ability. That's a great cross. Excellent cross. Cleared by the Tannisville defense, but the ball comes back in. Kylie Beck shoots from the right hand side, but uh, comfortably saved by Paisley Crawford. Paisley confidently uh, making that pick up there. Brooke Anthony to uh, Lindsay Sines. But uh, Nola Zook, who's also had a fine game, plays the ball out to the left wing. Another fine cross and another fine clearance by Sampson. Michaela trying to knock the ball through to Anna. Nice pass to Brooke. Brooke a little tired out there after all the running that's been done. Trying to chase this uh, superb team. Probably one of the best teams in the division along with Meadville. Alana Jackson now. Alana battling with Danica. Evelyn with a throw. Brooke loops the ball up to Anna Shelgren in midfield. Anna takes the ball to her left and plays the ball up towards Adeline Hartshorn, who's being chased by Ava Greenvolt. Ava comes up best that time. But Chloe Preston, who uh, been quite impressed with since she she came on. Chloe, uh, another player low in stature, but uh, high on talent and uh, enthusiasm. We see a few of those young ladies out here tonight on both sides. Chloe plays the ball up to Adeline. And ball goes out of play exactly on the halfway line. And it's going to be a throw. <laughs> Kylie Beck has had a fine game on the wing. Crosses the ball over. Goes off. <laughs> Alana Jackson, that was a dangerous ball. Alana Jackson did the right thing. She let it run across her. Took the ball out and made the clearance. When a ball comes over like that and the defenders are wrong, facing the wrong way, you're going, oh no, own goal potential. But uh, Alana dealt with it very well. Here's Yaz again. Uh, Isabel Yazancek and uh, Danica Escalente have been combining well on this left wing. And just as I say that, <coughs> Yaz is substituted. Back in comes uh, Ella Nicholson. <laughs> A little Lindsay signs wins that tackle from uh, Zook. 
But uh, Greenwald ties his up. Chloe Schultz in the game now. Schultz to Nicholson. Nicholson to Escalante. Being harried by Jackson. And uh, Jackson wins out. Gets a clearance in. There's a collision there. Between uh, Brooke Anthony and Ella Nicholson. I think it was an accidental collision. I don't think there was any malice in uh, the coming together. Lindsay Sines plays the ball up to the hard-running Adeline Hartzorn. Adelaine is a senior, and boy, she's put some miles in for this team. Shot coming in from uh, Michaela Owen. Uh, got a foot under it a little bit, send the ball ballooning high over the Blue Devil goal. Quarter of an hour to go. Blue Devils, seven. Rockets, nil. Chloe Preston picks up the ball in midfield. But uh, Chloe Schultz comes away with it. Excellent tackle from uh, Alana Jackson. I've said that a number of times this evening. Nola Zuck, who's been one of the outstanding players for the Blue Devils this evening. Ava Greenwald taking the throw. Kind of slipped out of her hands a little. But uh, on we go. Lily Southwick to Chloe Preston. Game just a little bit ragged at the moment. As the game drags on. Blue Devils not quite as fluid in their attacking movements as they were devastatingly in that first half. Break on for Titusville. Hartsorp tries to play the ball through to Sines, but again, Zook. Snuffs that attack out at point. Nicholson trying to dribble away through. Tries to get past Hanold. Comes inside, tries a shot. Shot coming in. Oh, poor. Well, Kylie Beck there. Tried the shot from way outside the penalty area, outside the D. Kind of went straight, and um, unfortunately for Titusville, it uh, slipped past Paisley Crawford. That's eight goals to the good. For the Blue Devils. Anna Shelgren trying to get something going. Playing the ball up to signs. But back it comes once again. Escalante battling with Anthony. Yeah. 
And uh, Lindsay Sign brooking no quarter there. Breaks two tackles. Crosses the ball for Adeline Hartshorn, but uh, shot coming in. Blocked again by Zook. Another shot coming in. I nearly fell off my chair with excitement. Chloe Preston tries a shot, but did not really get the sufficient power behind it, and um, Maddie Yance makes an easy save. Danica and Lindsay at it again. Lindsay Sines is battling away. Nicholson. Well, for once, Ella loses the ball. It goes out of play. Miscontrols it. <laughs> Signs is a tackling berserker at the moment. Shelgren. Anna Shelgren battling away. Trying to find Chloe Preston on the left-hand side. Chloe back to Anna. Anna tries to send the ball through to Sines, but uh, it was cut out by uh, Lexi Clayton, Lily Southwick, Moira York there with the interception. Less than 10 minutes to go, both teams really playing hard. Maury York on the left right hand side. Nobody harder than Lily Southwick though who stops Moira in her tracks. And it's a throw in for the Blue Devils. Chloe Preston picks the ball up for the Rockets. Plays it inside of Lily Southwick. Southwick trying to find uh, Hartshorn. But uh, again it's Zook who... Uh, is marshalling that defence with uh, incredible competence. Nicholson. <laughs> Ella, Ella couldn't find a way past two uh, Titusville players, but she managed to pick the ball up once more. But uh, cleared on that far side for a uh, throw by Nola Zook. So Nola defends, she takes corners, she takes throw-ins. What else, what doesn't she do? Well, she's the kit, maybe? I don't know. Escalante. Back to uh, Rocha. Rocha back to Escalante. Now working the ball down this left-hand side. Anthony comes across to tackle, but uh, Rocha evades her. But uh, Anthony comes away with the ball. But uh, Zuck blocks once more. Escalante trying to find a way to shoot, but. Uh, Good defense by Evelyn Hanold. Ava Greenwalt on the far side. Picked up in midfield by Callie Beck. Ball going back and forth a little between the teams at the moment. There's a very heavy conditions, I know that's a long grass and it's quite wet and very energy sapping for these uh, young ladies, but uh, both teams are still battling away okay. gamefully. Nicholson now, 
Plays the ball out wide to, to York. York loses out, though. Shelgren wins the ball in midfield. Hartson comes back to take it. Chloe Preston to Shelgren. But uh, tackled by Lexi Clayton. Closing stages of this game, and uh, we've got some very tired legs out there. I know I've got a tired voice, so. Nicholson trying to make a break, but uh, blocked by Hanold, I think it was. Evelyn battling away there. And uh, tackle comes in from uh, Escalante. Who's obviously not superstitious? She's wearing number 13. Brooke with the throw. Trying to find Anna, but finds Adeline instead. Knocks the ball out to Chloe Preston. And Titusville battling for the ball again. Uh, right full back clearance there I'm not quite sure who the player is at the moment Shelgren with a throw and Anna will get another chance Making yards down the field with throw-ins. Headed out by uh, Ava. Tempted header, but uh, didn't quite make it. Some fierce tackling going on. Oh. <laughs> Physical battle there that's uh, taking place. Great to see. Schultz tackled by Lily Southwick. There's some excellent um, individual performances uh, from some of these players. But uh, there's no doubt which team has uh, been superior this evening. Sign's going to shoot. <laughs> so Finley Roshi was in the way of that uh, sign shot. I'm sure Finley felt that one. In a couple of substitutions for the uh, Blue Devils. Hi. <laughs> Michaela Owen battling away in full back position. As is this young lady, Adeline Hartshorn. Impressive how the Rockets are still trying to push forward. Even though, they're, even though they're down by eight goals. Chloe Preston making way. Anna Shelgren, nice play to uh, Lindsay Sines. Lindsay wins the ball back. 
trying to pass the ball, play the ball through to Adeline, but uh, the staunch Blue Devil defense comes out on top once more. The game is uh, coming to a close. Less than a minute left. Anna Shelgren now battling away with Nola Zook. Anna gets the ball away. It's uh, dribbling Yaz. Supply. And whistle's going to go any moment to end this game. <laughs> and there we have it. Final game of the season for the Rockets, and they are downed eight goals to nil by the Cambridge Springs Blue Day Blue Blue Days <laughs> Blue Jays. I nearly said that was a. Uh, Moody Blues album. <laughs> the Titusville Blue, De the Titusville Blue Devils. This game's got me so excited. I don't know what I'm talking about. Final score here: Titusville Rockets nil, Cambridge Spring Blue Devils eight. And that'll be all from the Ed Meyer Complex. This is Gary Barnes, the voice of Rocket Soccer, saying good night. <laughs>